morning update. Dave here. Got all my treads painted. I'm uh, building a um, press too. I have this old uh, screw jack and uh, I'm going to turn it into a press. It's actually going to go on this. Uh, this is going to be one of the upright beams and I drilled uh, holes in it to uh, make this adjustable. This is going to be a one beam press. These are the press parts. This one's the bottom. The uh, screw jack will fit in here. This will fit right on top. Screw jack will push this up and down. And this piece here is going to be the stationary part that presses against. And I always have a tendency to overdo everything. So it's going to have three pins to make it solid with um, two set, set screws or bolts. The same with this down here. This one here is going to have three pins and two sets. This thing should be stout. And uh, put my little screw jack. I've had this thing so long that uh, it's heavy. The fit captures in there. And probably, you know, it's no big deal. It's not like a hydraulic. It, it, it'll probably push a thousand pounds. But my my slow down, my hold up, is I'm making supports. This is a, a two by six uh, rectangular bar, uh, square tubing, whatever you want to call it. But uh, my idea is to I like these holes, and this this particular tubing is quarter inch wall which is pretty heavy and uh, I hole sawed all these holes probably took me a couple days just to hole saw now the I'm going to turn it over show you my idea here this is for the handrail this particular piece is going to weld right there by the by the tire and my jib crane will mount on top of this piece and then uh, what I decided is I'm going to take these steps and they're going to come over here and they will mount in that receiver right there so that uh, when you go up the steps this bar here is pretty close to it, so I decided to put some handrail out here. You know, she requires handrail, so we're going to have some handrail. And uh, I make them poking, poking through this tubing. And uh, I think it should, should come out pretty good. So you go up the stairs right here, come around, and the uh, spiral staircase will be right here. But I can't do none of this stuff till I get all my uprights my vertical supports built and I thought about this a long time but you know I guess I put it off because this is a, it is a lot of work turned into a lot of work but it keeps me busy and the other one that goes in the front corner this right here it's even it, it's a two by six but it's even longer and I'm gonna uh, pierce it several times too and, and that just takes time so I'm uh, working along slowly. Oh, my my uh, next little project, my newest little project, is uh, for the ceiling uh, or the second floor on my trailer. I'm going to put uh, expanded metal, flattened expanded metal, just like this. This is number nine, three quarter inch flattened expanded metal, which is essentially ten gauge with a with a three quarter inch hole 
uh, between the uh, diamonds. I'm going to use the same thing for upstairs, which uh, means I have to get um, seven sheets. But of course, even though it's 10 gauge, that's expanded metal, it's pretty wibbly wobbly. So I've been thinking about how I'm going to support it, and I figured I would do a uh, uh, two inch flat bar. Now, since just people are going to be walking around up there, I'm thinking uh, two inch by eighth inch flat bar, which is which is what I used in here, the strong back. That little thin piece in there is two inch by eighth. I used it in this one, and uh, now it's probably going to take quite a bit of quite a bit of that flat bar set on edge to support each sheet. But you know. If you're going to do something, might as well do it right. So here's my idea is uh, instead of just uh, uh, welding them up there straight across or um, at angles or whatever, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this scroll machine. This is my a bearing that I'm going to use and it actually works out just right it's a piece of uh four inch schedule 40 and uh it fits on there perfect and this big bearing i'm gonna set it up and make a, a scroll machine I, I figured most of the most of the ornamental iron that's scroll there they're using um one inch flat bar uh, I've seen some of them use uh, some tubing. Now, I'm pretty sure they're using thin wall tubing, like, uh, you know, uh, 16th or 332. That's uh, 0625 or, or 092. And uh, those are, are uh, pretty small scrolling machines. And... So what I'm going to do is make one to, to do the two inch, which would be bigger. And I'm going to mount that right back here on the back of the trailer. Now it'll all be bolt on so I can take it off because this of course will not be uh, period correct for back in the 1800s. For the simple reason, I probably could make it. I don't know if they, they must have did it back then. I know the blacksmith made stuff. But the, the reason this wouldn't be period correct is because this is actually uh, ball bearings or roller bearings. It's a heavy duty uh, bearing that uh, actually came off of, uh, I built this uh, grill and this is a four feet diameter uh, wheel, which I wanted a lot of uh, leverage to raise the, the grill up and down. And this came off a dewatering screen out there where I worked. And these dewatering screens, they were, uh, I don't know, 20 feet long, four feet diameter on both ends, had a, a, a round flat wheel like this one on each end. And this uh, bearing was all machined. This piece just slips in there and fits. So this thing is heavy duty. And I think I could set it up back here and who knows, it, it, as much ceiling as I have up there, uh, I'm probably going to have to roll several hundred feet of, uh, of this uh, two inch flat bar. So what better way to do it than to uh, set up a machine uh, to help me out to uh, make it uh, scroll up a little easier. And then it, it, it'll be subtle I mean, you could see it, but it's going to be subtle, but, but it'll be up in the air and you have to look up. And I think it'll be cool, make a, a cool design rather than just having um, straight, you know, cut your flat bar and weld it up. Anyway, that's my plan. And uh, you can see I, I uh, work like a turtle. So <laughs> this is probably... Uh, two, three months work for me, but um, we're going to be persistent, we're going to stick to it, and we're going to get it done. 
Well, talk to you later. Bye.